Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest edition, a 1967 Ford Ranchero. Oh my goodness, give you all the details in a minute. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest acquisition and I'll tell you what, we don't see very many of these, a 1967 Ford Ranchero. I'll tell you what, it's really one of those gentlemen's pickups is what they call them and from what my dad always used to call them anyway. Uh, you're going to want to watch this entire video from start to finish because we're going to do a walk around. We do a cold start and you'll get a lot more details of this particular vehicle. Now you can also click on the link in the description and it'll take you right to our website where you have all the information as well, pricing and whatnot. Plus you have access to all of our cars on inventory right at the moment on our sales floor and that is over a hundred vehicles right at the moment. Now our website is www.ellingsunmotorcars.com where you will find cars from the 1920s all the way up into the 70s and beyond. So chances are if you're looking for something special we probably have it on the sales floor right here. Check that out. But let's get back to this really unique car. You just don't see them. Do you call it a car? Do you call it a pickup? Do you call it a truck? I mean it's kind of one of those things and that goes way back in 1934, when some gal, I, I read something that uh, she sent a letter to Ford, said, I need a vehicle that I can take to church on Sunday and take to the market or whatever on Monday. And well, they came out with what was called the Ute, which was kind of the con convoluted at that time from a car truck type deal. And guess what? Carried forward into the 1950s, especially 1957, when Ford was out there going, we've got to come out with something really to be similar to the Chevy Cameo pickup and the swept side pickup was also 1957. So they came out with the Ranchero. There's where that start, that's where the roots of this car is. Now once you get into 1967, such as this particular one, you're starting to get a little more full size vehicle. You're getting the bigger motors, of course, later on, even down the road. They even got into the muscle car war with the, with the El Caminos, whatever that came out in 1959. But this is a really nice example in candy apple red, beautiful chrome all the way around. Got the, the ever reliable 289 Ford V8. I'll tell you what, that's about as good a reliable motor with an automatic transmission with the center console. And then it's got two really nice options that, you know, a lot of people didn't put on all their vehicles, but this one they did. They put power front disc brakes on this vehicle, which is really, really nice. And, you know, for stopping a car or a truck or whatever, and they have power steering. To me, power steering is almost a must on any of these old cars. If you're going to the local car show, trying to park or doing whatever, it's just one of those really, really nice options that uh, happens to be on this car. Love the hood, gives you the little emblems right on there. That's, you know, gives it, looks like a performance orientated vehicle, which I'm sure in the day it was just fine. The other thing, of course, they have uh, aftermarket wheels and tires on this car. Radial tires being one of the biggest improvements on any of these vehicles, bar none, just for drivability, safety, performance, and handling. It's really, really a nice addition. But uh, yeah, they're American Racings, you know, polished. So, I mean, there's a few things that make this thing a little more distinctive, if that's what you want to say. And that goes when we take a look at the interior of the car. I mean, like I said, it uh, normally would have come with a bench seat, was the standard what these came. Someone has upgraded these with a nice leather bucket seats, did put in a nice center console as well. So you got the shifter on the floor and they have the aftermarket uh, steering wheel, really, really nice. But other than that, they've left it really nice and stock. I mean, you look at the dash, all that stuff is as the way it came in 1967. Look in the back. One thing, like I said, these are one of those vehicles you can actually utilize. It's got a nice rubber pad in the back. Nice, you know, got a tailgate. You can utilize it as a car or a truck. You know, it has a really nice sound too. You'll have to make sure to watch this video all the way through. Now you can find all our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. 
Give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe. I'm sure you'll find interesting things on this car, our current inventory, and some of our cars that we sold in the past as well. So if you got some time to peruse the internet, check out those sites. Well, and if you're like me, I'm kind of one of these guys. My dad had a ranchero back in the day, uh, what it was called, and it was really, really fun. Him and my uncle had matching, matching cars at the time. These were just, like I said, this is right where they're just starting to get into the performance stuff and whatever. Now, if you're like me, you're going to say, I want to come on down and take a look. I'd love to come to Ellingson's and look at the car in person. We'd love to have you. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 to 5 and Saturdays 10 to 4. So if you've got to come down and look at it in person, you're more than welcome. You can give me a call too, or any of us here are more than willing to help or answer any questions you have, give us a call. We're at 763 428 7337. And lastly, if you're out of state or you need help finding shipping, we can help you with that as well. So don't let that stop you from buying something from us. Or number two, if you're looking for financing, we can lead you in directions of some uh, firms that take care of collector car financing. Again, give us that call and we'll do our best to help you. No, this is one of those things. I have not had one of these in quite a number of years. They're kind of a specialty deal. I really like them myself. I mean, yes, you're limited to the two seaters, two people. Hey, that works out good for me. So anyway, if you want to come on down, take a look. We're glad to have you to come in. Thank you again for watching our video and hopefully uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you again.